All right, y'all, so here is our family room area. To be honest, y'all, it has actually been so much fun watching the Carpenters. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to a, another video. This video is going to be, it's not quite a vlog. It's more of like, just like a fun, um, kind of like talk through video because I wanted to make sure that I took some time out and did a video dedicated to like just talking through all of the things that we're doing um, with the house. I actually didn't plan on making this video for like another couple of weeks, but honestly, they're moving so fast. So like if I don't film this today, the house gonna be done, y'all. <laughs> like it's gonna be all done. So I was like, you know what? Like I got off of work a little bit early. I had some free time before I could get Olivia. So let me go ahead and kind of just take like 10, 15 minutes kind of just talk through all of the different things throughout the house that we are doing in phase one. A little backstory, I think I have shared on YouTube, I think, I may not have, but we hired an interior designer to help us design our home. That is A, always been a dream of mine, like I have always wanted to hire a designer, but B, it has been like the best investment to date. So I'll explain some of the reasons why I want to go ahead and hire a designer. Now, you guys know me and Dion, especially me, obviously me, but even my husband, we both love all things like home decor, home design. Like we just love like decorating and designing and all of that. Because this home is the home that we are going to be in for a very long time and we want to basically want to get it right. And I have, y'all, I have been living on Pinterest for the past, I don't know y'all, like I've literally been living on Pinterest since we went into contract in January. <laughs> because I have been living on Pinterest, I live on all of like the home decor, interior design, Instagram pages. I have watched a million YouTube videos all about like, like house tours and like architectural digest type videos. Like I just love like getting inspiration. And because of that, I literally have so many ideas in my head that I knew I was going to want and need help with the actual execution of all of the projects because I have so much going on up here. So like, I basically wanted someone to take everything up here, like all of my different ideas and everything and like put it on paper and like actually help me execute it perfectly. So we started working with her. I think we had like our initial consultation back in, it was either like end of September no, it was either end of August or early September, somewhere along there. The first step, obviously I went on her website, put in all the information. I will say she is the same designer who did my sister's home or Alicia's home. So I really knew like what her, desi what her design style was like, what it was like working with her. Like I kind of basically knew like what to expect. So that was great. And so I went on her website, put in like all the di different details, what I'm looking for, how many rooms, whatever, whatever. And then her and her assistant came and like we did like a really detailed like walkthrough. It's like an hour. So basically we like kind of like walked through the whole house. You know, I told her, you know, you know, I would like to do this here. I want to add this there, or I would love to do X, Y, and Z and blah, 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 blah. And like kind of just like walked her through the home. It was actually perfect timing because um, like by then, so that was like September. So like by September, like the house obviously wasn't done, but it was like at a good point to where like all of the bones of the house were done. It looked like a house, like cabinets were in, all of that. So basically we walked through the house and I did all of that. The first thing she did before she even did a rendering is she has sent me and Dion like four or five different ideas of what to do on the side of our fireplace, which I'll show you guys in a second. But basically we have a fireplace that is like, it, it ha it's like bumped out, so like it has, the perfect space for like built-ins, cabinets, literally anything. So in order to kind of figure out what to do with the design, we first had to choose, okay, what do you want to do on the side of the fireplace? Because that obviously impacted the overall design. Before the rendering, she sent me over a mood board, okay? So the mood board basically had like, I think she's like two different, it was like two or three different mood boards. So basically the mood boards had like combinations of furniture. So like I would see it and I would say, okay, I like, this about this light, but I want to change this, or I like this couch, I want to change out these chairs, or I like the lighting for the entryway, I don't like the lighting for the kitchen, you know, so I kind of like, I got to really kind of tell her, and like really, basically be really nitpicky, okay, about like all the small little things. And she took our feedback from that, and then created the rendering, and the rendering is like the full 3D model of like what the space is supposed to look like essentially. And that was like when I got so, oh, I just remember I was so excited when I first got it because 
it is like really brought everything to life. We are doing the house in phases, okay? So phase one of the design is basically all of like the main spaces. I wanted to knock that out first because obviously the main spaces are like the heart of the home. Our entryway, our kitchen, breakfast nook, family room, and bathroom is all of the main, is everything that's gonna be included in phase one. Oh no, and then we're also changing the tile in our laundry room, but that's something small. So it's, there's a tile, me and Dion picked. I don't even know why we picked it because literally we got installed and we were like, this is hideous, we don't like, well, it's not our style. I guess I'll kind of just start with the family room because this is like the thing that's, that you guys can really see, it like come to life. Um, because they have pretty much already finished like a good chunk of the project. Here is our family room area. Our fireplace initially, like what me and Dion picked, because obviously again, we didn't go custom. So basically we only had certain options through our builder and they didn't really have like any cool options that like really us for the fireplace. So we just went ahead and just tiled the whole thing like from the floor to the ceiling. And then whenever we were working with our designer, um, I remember telling her, I was like, I want to do something really cool in the space, but I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. And I did know that I did not want to have to remove all of the tile that was on there because A, that is expensive, um, and B, it is extremely messy. If you have ever had a project that requires removing tile, you know, it is such a mess. So I was like, whatever we do, we have to keep the existing tile that's there and then figure it out. So, her and her team had this really cool idea to do like a plaster over the tile. And when I say y'all, you can't even tell that the fire, uh, that there's tile underneath there because it looks that good. We're doing a really cool fireplace surround. And then for the sides, here's like a good view of it, what we did for the side. So basically me and Dion, we knew that we did not want to do the traditional, you know, I feel like everyone that has like built-ins, they typically do like the cabinets and then show them. Like that's probably what everyone does. And it looks really good, but me and Dion were so adamant that we did not want to do that. <laughs> I was like, we don't know what we want to do there, but we do not want to do cabinets and shelving. So she came up with this really, really, really cool concept to do these like off-centered shelves. Picked up the camera to give you guys a better view. So. First up, a better look at the plaster. So you guys see like how it's like nice and black and dark, like a really nice contrast to the white walls, but it has like some really nice texture to it that looks freaking amazing, y'all. It looks so good. Ugh, just look at it. Okay, so anyways, that's there. So the bookshelves or the bookshelves, the shelving, again, it's like off-centered, so it's three of them. Okay, so the front, face of the shelf is going to be white. So it's gonna match the walls basically. So like where you see all of the raw wood is going to be painted the same white that the walls are. What's so cool and I think it's just like such a unique um, detail is that the inside of the shelves are going to be lined or not are going to be, they are lined in this white oak. And then there's going to be a picture light up there. Oh, and then we are going to be plastering this wall here. So that way it kind of pops even more. It's actually a really pretty like muted, like taupey color. It's gonna be so cute. And to be honest y'all, it has actually been so much fun watching the carpenters build everything from scratch. Okay, so next let's talk about the heart of the home, which is, the kitchen. Now, this is also an area that we are super duper duper excited about because obviously we live in the kitchen. This is also the other focal point of like our living space. We are putting a couple things in here. First thing that we are doing is we are changing the countertops and backsplash. I mentioned this whenever I, in the moving closing day vlog, um, but we are changing our countertops and our backsplash. And I know I get comments about why am I changing something? It's a brand new home. 
if we picked it, why are we changing it? In our backslash kind of top situation, we just really didn't look. There's two reasons. A, we didn't love how it came out. It's just not giving at all. Our countertops are quartzite, so they are a natural stone. And so because they are a natural stone, every single slab is going to look different. And I say that because the slab, or the little sample piece that we, the sample piece is about this big, y'all. The sample piece that we saw in um, the design center looks nothing like the slab that got installed. It is not their fault at all. That's literally just what happens with natural stone. If you um, if you are familiar with like marble or quartzite, you know like literally every single slab looks different. So we are changing it out. So we're changing the backsplash on top. We're gonna just do like a slab of something. So it looks like a slab, like obviously the countertops will be like one big slab. Um, we're also doing a slab for the backsplash as well. So instead of like right now we have tile, it's like a, Simple like white herringbone tile. So this is gonna go. Um, these are the countertops. It'll be the same slab for the countertops and the backsplash. So that'll kind of all be one piece. Obviously adding like hardware and stuff to the cabinets, changing out the light fixtures, obviously. <laughs> Gotta change those out. Getting a new fridge. So this is actually a temporary fridge that we have in now. It's just a rental um, until our actual fridge comes in. So we're swapping out the fridge. And yeah, that's basically it for like the kitchen area. But basically like all of like the main things that you would think of um, that we haven't done, we're doing. Obviously we have our furniture and stuff. Well, we have almost all the furniture pieces ordered. There are a couple things that I really cannot decide on. And I'm like, I'm not forcing it. I just feel like whenever it comes to me, it's gonna come. I, this process, I will say, I think I mentioned it in the Q&A, this process is taking me like a lot longer than I anticipated it taking, but like in a good way because I'm like, I wanna get it right and I am literally in no rush at all to rush de decorating this house, if that makes sense. I want to make sure like all the big stuff that like had like long lead times to be ordered and all of that. Um, but like smaller things, like I don't wanna rush that. This week I just picked our window treatments. I still have to find some dining chairs. We have our couches ordered. Those are like a four month lead time. So hopefully that's coming sooner than later. We have our accent chairs ordered and all of that. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Here is the fabric. I have it right here actually. Here's the fabric case someone cares for our window treatment. It's like a really cool like ivory with like brown lining in it. It's like really cool. So I'm gonna do that. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so right here, this is like our entryway. Hi, hello. Um, okay, so right here, this is also, I have to give a shout out to my designer for coming up with this concept. Here we're like, we wanna do something, but we don't wanna do anything too bulky because we don't have that much space here. So she had this idea to do like a custom um, like floating shelf. So the carpenters that did the built-ins, built this by hand, it's obviously not done you guys, but they built this whole thing by hand. It has like, a storage compartment, which is super cool. So they did all this, it's even soft clothes. So like I can just tie it down, it closes on its own. So they built this and basically what we're gonna do is we're going to do like a reeded wood, um, like black wooden detail all around it. And then we're gonna do like a really cool, super tall mirror that goes, so it's gonna go literally from the baseboard all the way to the top of the trim of the stairs. And then we'll obviously have like, you know, like a vessel, some books, a candle, whatever it is on top of it to style it. And then I just love that this, that it has this storage that is soft clothes, which is really cool. And then the last big thing that we are going to be doing for phase one is we are going to be renovating the stairs. I know you guys gonna be like, Kyra, why are you renovating the stairs? Like, they're perfectly fine, whatever, whatever. Honestly, me and Dion don't love the combination. Yes, we picked the combination, honestly because that was pretty much all they had to offer that would look decent um, with our house. But whenever they installed it, we, we knew we picked it that we likely weren't going to love it, but we went ahead and did it anyways just to see. And whenever they installed it, we were like, yeah, we don't, we don't love it. So we're going to be renovating um, basically the stair treads and the handrails. Um, we really wanna do like a nice clean white oak look. 
So basically next week they'll be coming, changing the stair treads, on everything to white oak. They'll be getting rid of like the white cap and so the stair will come all the way across. They'll be changing these posts to a more modern, like simple, clean look. This is a very traditional, like I call it Texan look, so like with the trim and like all that. Not really our style or our vibes. That will be white oak and then the stair rail all the way around up there and down here, all that will be, it'll basically all be white oak. And then we are keeping balusters um, because we, we do love those. Like these are our vibe. This is really the only thing that's, <laughs> this is like the only thing that's actually our vibe is these there. So those will stay the same and then everything else will change. So yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it for all of the big changes in phase one. They show you guys like small things as they happen. Um, but of course I will do like a big reveal, like transformation type of video, like once it's all done, obviously. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you guys are excited about all the projects and what we're doing, again, give me a thumbs up and let me know down below in the comment section. And also let me know down below in the comment section, like what you guys want to see um, throughout the process or see from me, not as home stuff, but also um, just general YouTube content because I am trying to get more into like being more consistent. Y'all, y'all see, I'm trying. So um, as I am kind of like being more consistent, I definitely want to get you guys input on what you guys want to see to make sure I'm creating content that you guys obviously enjoy as well. So let me know down below which I want to see. Let me know down below if you guys are excited about all the home content coming up and obviously subscribe if you haven't already so you guys do not miss out on a thing. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and wrap up the video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.